Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mandy. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you'll stick around, hit that red subscribe button and become part of the family. So today we are doing my suggestions for the Sephora VIB sale. I look forward to this sale twice a year. Every single year I spend too much money and here I am suggesting to you guys on what to get but I am only suggesting it because if you are VIB, you get 20% off. If you are, or me, I'm sorry. If you are Rouge, you get 20% off. If you are VIB, you'll get 15% off. And if you are a beauty insider, you get 10% off. And it costs you absolutely nothing to be a beauty insider. You just need to sign up with an email. So you can at least get 10% off of things that you've been eyeing up if not 20%. I will have all the dates down below in the description to let you know what each of the days are and what each category gets to shop. I will also run it through the screen here really quick so that you guys can also see it now. So it should be running on the bottom of which day is which and which category, who gets to shop for what, you know. Anyway, so this look is filmed. I don't think it's going to be up quite yet. It'll be up maybe in a couple days. It is with the new ColourPop Taupe collection and I absolutely loved it. Spoiler, the only thing I really didn't care for was the glossy lip, which I don't usually do a glossy lip. So, you know, anyway, that's what's on my face. Almost completely ColourPop, a couple different things, but it is that taupe collection. So, I have right here with me a bunch of things that I have suggested and it's in the Sephora. Look, the VIB sale tape is up on there. A um, bunch of things in here that I would suggest that maybe you should get from the sale. If you're looking to buy some things, I think they're really good deals, really good things to save some money on. And also, I want to start off with first, there are two more Sephora uh, favorite kits that just went up for $15. If I can get a picture of them, I will put them up here next to my head. Um, I don't know if I should be able to get that up there for you. So I will put those two pictures up. Those two things, I absolutely, 100% definitely would tell you to go get if you are looking to do Sephora kits because those two were amazing and these two are the other ones that I really, really, really like. I do tend to collect a lot of the Sephora favorites. I don't do the perfume ones, but I do the makeup ones and I've only not gotten two of them. The lash one I didn't get because I pretty much have all of them. Hopefully that'll go on sale and I'll pick it up then because I do want that Pat McGrath lip or uh, lip, that Pat McGrath um, mascara that is in there. But I didn't pick that one up and I didn't pick up the one in the gold bag because I pretty much had all the products. So, I mean, if that's your thing, they are a great deal. I really love them. But these are the two that I have in possession with me. I ordered the other two. Um, right here is Give Me More Lip. These I do have a video on um, showing you everything that's in here and what they look like. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lipsticks and three of them are full size and the full size is Patrick Ta, Fenty and Elia and um this kit is a beautiful kit it doesn't what is it, it is $45 with a $124 value plus your percentage off so this is a definite if you love lipsticks and love nudes and reds I would absolutely I'm looking for somewhere to put it absolutely tell you to get that the other one is the, what is it, must-have, makeup must-haves, and there are three, no, four full-size ones. So we have the NARS Orgasm Blush that is full-size, the Brow Wiz, the Huda Beauty Lipstick, and the Marc Jacobs um, Mascara. This is another great kit, and it is $48 and a value of $146. So if you're eyeing any of the Sephora favorites, I definitely say go pick those up during the sale. They are like, I love them so much. You get such a great value out of them. Okay, I'm going to try to run through this as quick as I can. And I may even have another video go up with some more suggestions as things get released before the sale. So let's try to get through this as quickly as we can. All right, the Too Faced Cinnamon Bear Collection. 
I think for the, the collections that uh, Too Faced have released so far, the only two, the other one is from Ulta, and it's a Sugar Bear Plum one, which is really good. But the only two from Sephora that I really would say is worth picking up from their Christmas collections this year would be the Cinnamon Bear Palette, which is really cute. This was $39, I believe, and the bag is adorable. I mean, super cute. And it comes with the full-size lipstick and the um, palette and the qu the quantity is <laughs> quantity the quality is really and also these Christmas snuggles and melted kisses melted mats that is a mouthful um, Too Faced lipsticks these were a great deal absolutely would say if you're looking for it. Christmas collections from Too Faced that would be the two that I would suggest um, as far as Pat McGrath goes. I mean, any of her stuff would be really good to pick up during the sale and save money on if you're looking for it. But I just got the new, what is it, Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Divinity Palette. I bought it from Pat's website. I would have loved to save 20% on it. But it is definitely worth it, you guys. If you don't have a bunch of Pat McGrath and you want to try her stuff out, I would definitely tell you, yes, go get this. Um, because it, it is beautiful. It has some great shades. So what if you have to use another palette with it for mattes? I mean, you don't have to, but if you don't have much Pat McGrath, I would definitely say yes. Some of her other $125 palettes, if you're looking at them, now would be the time. Okay, so I'm just going to try to go through the palettes first. Staying on high end, high, high end, the Natasha Denona five pan palettes. The new one just came out, which is these, this one here, the Zendo palette. Her whole collection, the um, what I need a nude, the two nude lipsticks, the highlighter, and I think that, and this, and that might be it. Any of those, if you're looking at them, and that would be the time to pick them up. And any of these little five pan palettes, really any of her palettes, because the Glam palette just come out not too long ago. That is a really good palette. So any of Natasha Denona's things that you're looking at would now be a great time to go get them. And the quality is beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's Natasha Denona. You can't go wrong. So definitely would say that. Now, the next one I'm going to show you, I'm not, I wanted to include it, but I'm not quite sure on how I feel because I haven't used it. I've only swatched it. But if you've been looking at the Urban Decay Stoned Palette, now would be the time. I know I'm going to say that a lot, but definitely, well, not now. During the sale would be the time to go and get it because I wouldn't spend the full amount on that. So, I mean, is it worth the 20% or 10% or 15% off? Probably because they are some unique shades, but I definitely wouldn't pay full price for this palette having it now. So, I would wait until this goes on sale or until you're able to use a sale on it for sure. The next couple things that I did just pick up and just filmed a video on, I don't know if it's up yet though. Um, the Rare Beauty, she put out, the Rare Beauty, the Rare Beauty line, she just put out a couple palettes and also a couple of these mini things. I don't think I put them all, I didn't put them all in here, but a couple of these mini little things. If you're looking to try her line, these were amazing. I absolutely loved them. I will have that review up soon. And I mean, this lip butter thing is gorgeous. It's not really a butter. It's a bomb. Lip bomb. It's amazing. Now would be the time. <laughs> well, not now. The sale will be the time to pick these up. But they are amazing quality. I absolutely love them. Beautiful looking palettes. Even really pretty just to have on your vanity. Because they're, they're stunning to look at and really nice to use. Um, and I think this, nope, there, it's not the last, this, this is the last eyeshadow palette. So the new Huda Beauty Khaki, just Khaki Haze, is the one out of the new collection that I would suggest. The other two, I mean, you can leave them behind. This one, I absolutely would say yes. It is a really pretty palette and I absolutely love it. So I definitely would recommend this one out of the three. And if you do not have any Hourglass, Hourglass is expensive. I picked up the new Christmas palette because I do not have much of their products. I think I have like a single blush 
and uh, no, a couple single blushes and that was it. So I ended up picking up this and the Ambient Lighting Palette. I said no to the other little palette, which I'm still kind of considering. And I am going to be doing a video on what I'm thinking of picking up from the VIB sale. And I think the little guy might make an appearance in that video. So stay tuned for that. But if you're looking at hourglass powders, that would definitely be the time to get them on sale. You only see a sale really probably once a year with these guys through their website, maybe a couple more, but not that often. So definitely would be the time to pick that up on sale. So let's see. Okay, I'm trying to do the skincare last. So if you love your all-nighter and you are a ride or die fan of that, this stuff is expensive. So definitely get it on sale. And I would definitely stock up if this is something that you are into and you absolutely love. For sure, 100% stock up on these. Um, the, the Anastasia products. These can get expensive. So what do I have? I think I only have these two in here. So the Brow Wiz and the Brow Gel. Stuff adds up. But definitely, these do go on sale for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty which is another good time to stock up on them. But if you're looking and you need extras, definitely now during the sale would be the time. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm just trying to show you things that I would stock up on and things that I like. So the next thing is if you wanna try, and I probably should have put this in with the Natasha Denona. If you wanna try her new Chromium, cr chromium Liquid Eyeshadows, these are $28. They're so tiny and don't get them unless you get them on sale. Not worth it unless it's on sale. Very pretty, beautiful, but don't buy them for full price. Um, and then the last, nope, because I have foundation, but the last makeup product other than the foundations that I'm going to show you is these Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitters. These things are, and I just dropped the pink one. These things are amazing. And here is the chunkier kind, which I just, I think they're both just called heavy metal. Yeah. So make sure you look and see which ones you're looking up. This is a very chunky formula and this is a very thin formula, but these are kind of expensive too. So if you can get them on a discount, I think it's a staple product that you should have, if you like glitter, you should have in your collection. Even if you're just picking up one shade, I would say go with these over this because you really have to like glitter to go with these. But these ones, you can just put it on top of any eyeshadow. You don't have to use it as a liner. Just put it on any top, any top of eyeshadow and it, it looks good. It like gives your eyes that shine that is beautiful. All right. So now we're down to the foundations that I would suggest. So if you were looking for the new Born This Way matte foundation from Too Faced, get it on sale. This thing has up and down reviews. There are people that love it and people that hate it and people that are like, uh, I'm one of the people that liked it. I really do. And I like the other one, but I, I do like this one better. It is $45. So again, sale would be good for sure. Um, it's, it's not the worst foundation in the world, but it's not the best either. So as far as the best in my eyes would be this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation. And I think it's like, I think like in the $50 range. So again, a sale would be nice, but this stuff is gorgeous. I actually picked mine up during the last VIB sale. So don't pay full price for it, but you guys, this foundation is beautiful. And again, with the Rare Beauty, this is not expensive. This is only $29, but it is a good product to try. If you haven't tried it and you were curious about it, now would be the time. All right, and down to skincare, because skincare is expensive. And there are some more things that I would suggest and there is actually one thing that I forgot. Let me go grab that real quick so I can show you. Okay. So my ride or die, definitely going to be getting it during the sale. There is a little package deal that I'm gonna pick up. But this Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow is my replacement for the Drunk Elephant, um, the pink lid one, Frambuzel, I don't know how to say it. 
but I've been using this and I absolutely love it. You definitely can see a difference. And if you're into pharmacy and you are okay with, what is it, AHA? Yeah, AHA chemical on your face? Well, not really, I guess it is a chemical. AHA re resurfacing at night serum. This is it. And that little package that comes with the two is a definite buy for sure. Um, along with that from pharmacy, the Green Clean. Love this product for taking off my makeup. It is a makeup balm. It works so good. I can't say enough good things about it. And it is a ride or die item that I just can't live without. It is my first cleanse and then I will go in with like a cream cleanse after that. And the milk one, which I don't have, but I the milk one is a good idea. I really think that was a good cleanser. I had it as a sample and I kind of do like it. So I would add that one to the list as well. Um, the Laneige line. These little lip glowy balm things. This is my third one. They are so good. I think they're only $17 a piece, but they're so good. So I would definitely suggest these. I know I'm trying to rush through this and it's still a long video. I can't find, I have the big one, the middle one, and the little one. So, and I can't find the middle sized one, which I was trying to show you. This is the Ola Hendrickson Transform Glow H2O Dark Spot Toner. This is amazing, Change, game changer, I loved it. If you haven't tried it and you're looking for a good toner, definitely suggest this one. Um, and now we're into expensive skincare. So from Tatcha, the things that I would suggest that you would maybe get from that, which one I don't have is maybe the rice cleanser. I'm thinking about picking that up. The silk canvas liquid one is great. I absolutely love this and I may repurchase. I don't know, but this bad boy is expensive. So again, the sale would be great for that. And also there are two moisturizers, you guys. These are highly expensive and you definitely want to get these on a sale price. They do have Christmas collection packages with these where you get like little travel size ones. That would be the way to actually go. So you could try other products and it's only like $10 extra for them. And the sale basically is covering that. So this is just the water cream and this is the dewy skin cream either one of these you know this i use at night this i use during the day both beautiful creams but if you don't want to go that route and you're a drunk elephant person the retinol cream is and i do have that i'm sorry i just forgot to bring it over here the retinol cream is really good and their two moisturizers are just as i mean they hang up there with tatcha now i think the tatcha one might be a little bit better but these are really good too. This one is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream and this is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So either one of these, again, if you'd rather do um, a Drunk Elephant than Tatcha, but uh, if you're definitely looking for a moisturizer, I would say, and a night moisturizer, I would say go with one of these. That's my opinion. Um, but anyway, you guys, I wanted to come on here, show you my little suggestions for the VIB sale. Like I said, there may be another short video that goes up before the sale comes, but I wanted to hurry up and get this one up so you guys can get some ideas in your head. And I also will have the other one that I was talking about coming up where I'm deciding on what I wanna get from the VIB sale. So stay tuned for that video because it is coming probably really, really soon. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy some of the suggestions that I've given you. And maybe, you know, let me know down below whether or not you're planning on picking any of them up. So don't forget guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And that's it. Have a fantastic day, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.